Hi, and welcome back to Alice the Cat's Red Pen Editing Session. Okay, so, um, quick warning. Warning, the following program is recorded and edited live and may not necessarily be suitable for children. Uh, this program may contain dark and graphic content at any time, and viewer and listener discretion is therefore advised. Um, if you would like to sign up, uh, please do so by sending me um, between 1,000 and 2,000 words, and um, you have to be able to prove to me that you have the publishing rights. Um, this does not count as publishing. Um, however, I can't tell you whether or not that this can affect down the line um, first publication rights, for example. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. So on today's episode, uh, someone submitted about 1,500 words from their deviant art. We have a 2016 writing from Spider Z Spite Spider Z T art, and yeah, we're gonna read it. So let's get right into this, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, all right, find my soul fav so find my soulmate for 15 minutes, eh? Um, you should have a comma here, and we have to go to suggestion mode. So. I sat before the strange-looking radio, skeptical that I would get what I paid for. There was no way such a thing could possibly exist. But then, Joan said she found Henry through it. I don't, I, I don't like ellipses, but I'm not going to dwell on it. How do I? Question mark. I don't understand. Who, who's speaking? Who's asking? I guess our main character is talking. It's running. Again, no context, no character, but okay. No, I mean, how do I connect to... And um, then they get cut off. You've only got 15 minutes, ma'am. This is not how you spell ma'am, by the way. Let's double check if I'm correct on that, by the way. Yeah. So, yeah. That's just... It's just... Uh, I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It says British term. Can we can we just search the dictionary for ma'am? One's mother. One's own mother. Respectful role. Female royalty, respect. Yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, I guess it's not wrong. I just, I've, I, I just usually don't spell it that way. Um, I'm glad I looked that up. So we've learned something. So, you've got 15 minutes, ma'am. You may want to talk to them before your time runs out. Wait, you're missing a comma here. Because the, it's like, wait, comma, they're on? Question mark. Hello. A small voice spoke from the speaker. Um. I, I do think this should be a lowercase. Like, I, I think it is a grammatical error, but it also doesn't necessarily have to be a grammatical error because it could, I guess, be a separate sentence. It just seems weird that the sentence follows the dialogue. Like, if it was a small voice spoke from the speakers, period, hello, question mark, that could work, but it would also be a little bit awkward. So I think that this is not an independent clause. I think that this is the same stretch of dialogue. So, oh my God, I'm sorry. I was just trying to, and then it trails off. They laughed. And in the sound of that laugh, I knew. The machine worked just as they said it would. My heart dropped. And it was both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. This was my soulmate. This is kind of an okay premise. I can see this maybe going, you know, left and becoming kind of a Black Mirror episode, though. Hello, I responded. Um, we can use this word, but you gotta be careful with, like, fancy words that don't say said, because they can be a, a little bit distracting. It's a stylistic choice more than a grammatical, like, it's not like an error, but... I find that words like responded tend to be distracting. So, hello, I responded. Quick, what do you do for fun? I blurted. Yeah, see, here we go. This was not how it was supposed to go. I had a whole series of questions prepared. We'd learn about each other for the first five minutes, decide if we wanted to meet in the next five, and make a plan before time ran out. I was prepared to book passage on whatever locomotive necessary to reach them. I'd been saving up my entire life for this. Little had I known. Oh, she thought about it for a moment. Huh? Oh, she thought about it for... So this is, again, this is a grammatical error. So the sentence ends, oh, period. She thought about it for a moment. Did she know time was wasting? Like, you, you can't do an attribution of dialogue with she thought about it for a moment because it's, it was spoken. So it isn't actually... It's not that she thought about it for a moment. It's that she said it because it's in quotations. So there's something wonky with this that, that, that needs to get reworked. So I'm just going to put a strike through that. Didn't she know time was wasting? But I couldn't be mad. I loved her already. I guess I watch a lot of TV. 
Okay, so we have another grammatical error here. So what's happening is the antecedent has switched. So we've gone from one point of view, we've gone from like our main character's point of view of like, oh, it's, it's very confusing. You, you can't do this. You, you have to break the paragraphs up anytime you're switching antecedents. So like, if we're talking about her and she's doing the dialogue and she's doing the speaking, that's a separate paragraph. If he's doing the thinking and he's doing the interjecting, that's a separate paragraph, even if it breaks the page apart a little bit more than you would want to. So she did know, didn't she know time was wasting? Like, this is not her dialogue. This is not her thoughts. But I couldn't be mad. This is, again, his thoughts. I loved her already, comma. I guess I watch a lot of TV. So she's answering after his thoughts. Do you see the problem here? So this is, this is, this is grammatically incorrect. You can't actually do this. So I'll just put the little strike here because you got to look at this. TV, what was that? Was it some kind of event, perhaps? I love horses, I blurted in response. You could just use said, but I'm not going to dwell. No, this was all wrong. We weren't talking right. I glanced at the clock. It was already two minutes in. We didn't have the time. I like that there's actually like a premise and a plot here. There's also two characters right off the bat. So this story is doing something, some things right. Actually, it's not, this isn't, it's like the writing itself has a bit of grammatical errors, but overall, I'm usually more satisfied with writing when um, I can edit something that's just kind of like, a little bit wonky grammar, but there's actually stuff happening here. There's actually some characterization, so I'm not dissatisfied so far. Like, I, I think this is off to a good start. I glanced at the clock, and, and, the, and there's stakes, by the way. There's, there's been stakes introduced, which is really important, and a lot of newer authors don't do that. So this is accomplishing enough within a, a short amount of time to keep me engaged. I glanced at the clock. It was already two minutes in. We didn't have the time, so yeah, here, here is a, re a reiteration of the stakes. Where do you live? I blubbered. Ugh. Just use said, please. Just use said. Getting far too ahead of myself. You're, you're just, you're wasting, you're wasting language here. It's like, where do you live? She laughed again, and I could feel her laughter like a vice in my chest. I wanted to cry and couldn't say why. Okay. If you can't, so, so here's the issue with this. If you can't say why then we don't know why. And if we don't know why, we have uh, even less context than the writer does and definitely less context than the character does. So, you're not supposed to give out such information online, she responded. But how would we meet if not an exchange of address, I blurted out. Well, she answered. You could just delete all that like you don't you don't need the dot 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 she answered i mean like it's like it's pretty clear because you've broken the paragraph like who's speaking here so it's like well i mean the website says you're my soulmate do you even live around here we also don't really need the 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 ellipsis like unless it's vitally important that we know that time itself is passing at which point you're better off still not using a dot 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 you're better off using something just like there, there was static noise there was a dramatic pause and even those you should just remove them where necessary um, or, or we're not explicitly necessary, I would say. So like, again, you can use ellipsis, but like, this seems like a bit of like ellipsis abuse, I would say. So where is here? I asked website question mark. I get the feeling that our character doesn't know about like the internet. And this is the second time we've had this. So it's not bad writing. It's just like, it's a little confusing because we have no context to why upstate New York. She responded, sounding a little unsure of herself. I kind of live near upstate New York. I've been to Albany. The capital. Um, I live in New York proper. Oh, upstate, upstate. Would it be comma upstate New York? Upstate comma New York. She responded, sounding a little unsure of herself now. I'm actually unsure if the comma goes there, but I think it does. I live in New York proper. Oh, I don't understand why the why it's capital O. There's something going on here that's a little weird. This needs some work. I couldn't believe it. She was close, but let me not get ahead of myself. I reeled myself in before I scared her off. Um, I think we can just delete this. I think we can just delete that and it reads smoother. Like that's, that's, that's a stylistic edit on my point. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It just seems too wordy and it doesn't seem to actually like personify or add anything. Like it's just the same guy. Like he's still nervous. He's still like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't add anything to plot. Like I reeled her in myself before I scared her, uh, seared her off seared a oh, scared yeah um yeah i just i just don't think it's necessary like we already know the plot is i love your accent she said i was trying to collect my thoughts as i was trying to 
she said as I was trying to collect my thoughts. This is again, this is an antecedent problem. So this is actually a grammatical error. This this does need to change. This is a problem. So she said as I was trying to collect my thoughts. Well, I, I, I guess it could work. I, I don't know. It just th th This seems wrong because she said as I, it, first of all, it would be a comma. So she said as I was trying to collect my thoughts. It, so it, it seems like this sentence is working, but actually what's happening is my brain is confusing who is trying to collect their thoughts. And I, I understand now that I've read it a couple times, like who it is, but yeah, you should rework this sentence. This is an antecedent problem. I actually don't know how to spell antecedent. I am extremely dyslexic. That's kind of the meme of, uh, of the whole channel. My what? Now the she mentioned it. Oh, it's just this is just a typographical error. It's just supposed to be that. Not a big deal. My what? Now that she mentioned it, she did sound a bit off herself. My what? Now that she mentioned it, your accent she giggled. What? I can't tell who's speaking here. This is the problem. Like I actually like I actually am confused on who's speaking here. Cause it's like she she's giggling, but now that she mentioned it, so it seems like both of these are her talking. Yeah, this is confusing. You're gonna have to go back and rework this. New York, born and raised, I said proudly. Okay, that now now we're back to clear. New York, I said proudly. My dad moved here in 76 and I was born 10 years later. So you can do this that I said proudly here in the middle of the dialogue just to like kind of remind us he's speaking and add the fact that it's like a prideful statement. But if you have to use an adjective or um, like an adverb, uh, rather, if you, have to, if you have to use an adverb like that, that ends in L-Y, like proudly, it's generally speaking because your dialogue isn't powerful enough on its own to give us the impression that he's proud. So it's like, New York, born and raised, exclamation park. My dad moved here. So we can actually just delete, I said proudly. And the dialogue actually here is strong enough to speak for itself. So I think it's just, it's a little bit confusing to just kind of break it, I said proudly. It's, it's, it's not necessary. And, and I, only, I bring this up and I dwell on it because if this becomes a pervasive issue throughout your dialogue, then you really start to get bogged down with like, I'll just call it straight up bad writing. Like adverbs are not good writing. It should always be that the writing stands on its own. And if the writing, as it does in this case, it does stand on its own, then it doesn't merit the break in I said proudly. It doesn't, it doesn't need that. So your trails off. I could hear some kind of clicking through the speakers. 30? So, so who's speaking here? I could hear. So he's speaking again? Again, it's a, the problem is the antecedent switching here. The, you, you can't mix together who is speaking and who is thinking and who is emoting and actioning in one paragraph worth of dialogue. You can't do that. I, so yeah, so she's speaking. So I like I I understand why you're doing this, but it actually yeah, it's actually a problem. Also, there's a there's an issue with uh what they call filtering. So I could hear, not necessary. It's just some kind of clicking through the speakers, comma thirty. And like even that's like it's awkward. But if you switch it to um. If, if, you, if you do it like this, then it doesn't switch the antecedent. But moreover, it's not necessary to tell the audience that you're hearing something. You can just say that there was a static noise and we can infer that the character like obviously heard the noise. So that's why you shouldn't filter. So I'll just add a note here about like... "31 this December, I replied, same. Unironically same. 31 this December, I replied. No need to be ashamed of my age. Being single at 30 and all. Ugh, same. The tragedy. I replied, no need to be ashamed of my age. Being single at 30 and all. Is this, is this not dialogue? I think, I think this is, I, I, I'm not sure. But to me, this looks like dialogue. So I think it should be dialogue. And there's no reason why that it wouldn't be dialogue. Other than like, I, I, I guess the character's wrestling with being like insecure about it and like not speaking it out loud. But it seems like if he is as blubbering an idiot as, you know, I mean, we've used words like blubbering and blurting. So if we're going to use those, then we may as well have him stagger over like kind of, I don't know, something awkward. And you, I asked her. So this is, there's no reason to break this dialogue. It actually, this is actually a grammatical error because we actually haven't switched speakers here. And this, so it says, I asked her. 
31 this December, I replied. So it's the same. There's no reason to break the paragraphing here. It makes it seem like it's her speaking. So again, we have we have massive problems here with the grammatical dialogue. Oh, 24, she answered. I don't think 24 should be capitalized. I think this is, again, a grammatical error. I think it's supposed to be. There's, there's no reason why. It's not a proper name. It's like her name is not 24. And if her name is 24, then you're doing some very flowerful creative writing that I don't understand. Born in 1992, same. So this takes place in like 19, this would be 2016, is it? I think it was written. So maybe it's, I don't know. I, I'm bad at math. I was also born in 1992. So, ooh, woo. Ha, I laughed. You mean 1892. Ain't even made it halfway through the 19s yet. Don't worry though. I've done that too. Okay, so we so so we we're getting some good plot here. I I I and it makes sense that like he doesn't understand what the internet is. He doesn't understand, right? So like we we understand that he's out of place, but now we're understanding that he's like a, also like in a time traveling situation here, which like it does work. Like the the premise here is being exposed, I think at a proper pace. I think that we're having uh, again, we're having like decent enough dialogue like they're, they're having a conversation it's kind of dry there's not really much to it but we do have some stakes and we do have some conflict now so the conflict is now that there's a dissonance between one character's perception of the universe and our main character's pov which could in turn make him um uh, unable to connect with his soulmate and that in and of itself is is a kind of a, com a comedic tragedy as a genre that has not played out yet but we as the author or i'm sorry we as the reader are privy to this because we're obviously from the future so now we get to kind of laugh at the character so this is this isn't bad writing like again the premise is good it's just that the way that the grammar is there's there's a lot of problems it's very choppy and needs some editing so ha i laughed you mean 1892 i think we could just remove the i laughed like it, it it's a little bit wonky so like maybe ah, yeah we, i guess we could leave it it's, it's not a huge deal no she responded I mean, 19, yeah, we can remove the, the she responded. Again, we don't, we don't need to break just to tell us that she responded. The dialogue inherently shows us that she's responding. So we don't, we don't need to break that. It's just a waste of words and, and it's just a waste of space. No, I mean, 19, she laughed her beautiful laugh once more and my stomach began to soar with her words. I'm not 20, 124 after all. So again, antecedent switching, same error as before. You have to break apart whose thoughts are whose and whose dialogue is attributed to whose. And I won't dwell on it. I'm just going to strike it. My chest was tightening again. Um, I think you just go, because you need to remove the word was. I think you just go with the word, uh, my chest tightened. I think that's how you do it. My chest tightened again, and it wasn't a happy feeling this time. I think that's kind of implicit. Now, why would you... And we can just remove the word again if it's a different type of, like, it's like my chest tightened. Now, why would you go and say that? Was she rattled? Was my true love off her guard? Um, this is a grammatical error. You need, it's just a period because it's the, the clause has ended. It's like the, the dialogue has stopped. And was she rattled is not part of that. And if it was part of that, it, well, it isn't. It's just not part of that. Say what? She asked. <laughs> I kind of like that. The like modern parlance. Say what? And you can use she asked here. I, I usually like the word said, but in this case, it is obviously a question. So you, you can get away with it. It's not possible that you're born in 1982, I answered. My breathing was coming through um, lungs that didn't... My breathing was coming through lungs that didn't want to take in air. I just I just don't think it's all... I think I think you have a pattern when you're writing to try to like break your writing apart. And I, I think you'd be better off to just delete all that. I don't think it's worth editing. It's not even 19... I. It's not even 1917 yet. She was silent for a moment, and then she responded, Oh, I get it. This is one of those joke websites then. She sounded disappointed, hurt even. I knew it was too good to be true. This can work here. Um, but I do think that I do think that I think there should be a period here because I think that the next sentence is like, I knew it was too good to be true. There was a lot of rustling around as if she was moving about. And then this should be a period. And then this should be his thoughts on the next line telling us where there was that there was rustling. So, to, oh, what the hell? 
Sorry about that. I just hit the wrong shortcut. Um, now hold on there. I didn't want her to go. Ain't nobody joking around on this side of the radio. I think again, this is implicit, and I don't think it's needed. I think I think it's. I think again, I think this is like a habitual issue. Nobody joking around on this side of the radio. My heart was racing. My manners were shot. Okay, so this is again more grammatical errors. This is the end of the clause. Like it's like it has already stopped. Like ain't nobody joking on this side of the radio. Period. The the dialogue and the clause has stopped because the next thing is an independent clause. So my heart was racing. My manners were shot. And that rural accent my dad always told me to watch was coming in strong. Uh we could go with we could go with in, but I think through is a better word choice. Doesn't really matter. You just said it was nineteen sixteen, she huffed. That's ridiculous, she added. See what I mean by like it's just like it, it it's just so choppy. There's no reason for this. You just said it was nineteen. That's ridiculous. I'm not in the mood for any games. The disappointment in her voice cut like a knife, and it was all I could do not to break down in front of broken dialogue? Huh? I don't understand. I think this is just, I think this is both typographical and grammatical error. And again, antecedent problems. So like just this whole thing, like fix. <laughs> uh, two minutes, the operator said. Is that two minutes left or two minutes that we're in? Because this, this, this dialogue, is, there's no shot. This is 15 minutes worth of dialogue. It's not enough time, I wailed. What's going on over there? I almost yelled at the woman in the radio. Why are you telling me such foolishness? Ooh, I don't know. Same, same problem, same crap. I'm not the one being foolish, she yelled back. They didn't even have the internet in 1916. How could you be talking to me from there? I don't know what this thingers called i just as soon would have called it a radio i answered her but i'm here to tell you say yeah say again same same thing same reason but i'm here to tell you and they said i'd hear from my soulmate and now and i i think this is supposed to be like um i i don't think this, I, I can't tell if this is an error or if this is like stylistic choice because of the 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 like like Brooklyn accent or whatever he was from I, I'm just gonna put and it's driving me nuts and now your it's the wrong type of your it should be uh this type of your because it's apostrophe it's like it's implying ownership obviously so you are um I guess not ownership but yeah you yeah yeah this is right so and now you are saying you're a hundred years in the future it's not me that's talking foolish. You know, I usually don't recommend this. I actually recommend the opposite, but I actually think an exclamation point here is kind of in order. Almost always I would give the opposite advice, but anyways. If you're really from the past, write me a letter, she challenged me. Um, I think this is, there's no, first of all, again, we could just delete the whole thing. There's no reason for it. Write it right now and send it to my address. 1811 Rye Street, Coopersville. New York, one whatever. Uh, I've been to Coopersville before. It's boring out there. If you're from the past, I should already have it, she snapped, and I don't even remember getting a letter since I moved here. I was frantically scratching the address onto the sheet I'd bought for this very reason, but I hadn't been prepared. I wasn't sure I had it. Coopersville, I said back, uh, and then reads, is that it? Uh, this is just a typographical error. It's just supposed to be lowercase. 30 seconds, the operator interrupted. It's interesting that sometimes you use numbers and sometimes you write the numbers out. I don't really know what to make of that. Personally, I'm dyslexic. I like seeing the numbers, but a lot of, um, we'll call it camps or schools of editors will tell you always to write it out and hyphenate. Personally, I don't like that. I also don't know why uh, seconds is capitalized, so it's a little strange. And I and I, I I do think we can get away with the operator interrupted here. Like normally we would just say said, but I I guess we can use the word interrupted. It's just a little cumbersome. Did I get that right? I asked, frantic now. I didn't care if she was cracked. I could hear it in her voice. The machine had worked. Huh? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. The radio went silent. Wait! I yelled into the mic. I didn't get your name. Sorry, ma'am. The operator intoned. 
She's disconnected. I fell apart. What had just happened? Wait, are they lesbians? Did I not catch that? Wait, 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 wait. Did I read this whole thing thinking it was a male and responding as a male? I'm just so used to reading like cis male, like romance. He did say ma'am. I guess I should have known that. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Ooh, ooh. Let's be in fact, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I just, I, it, the dialogue reads very like um, anime boy, like anime sad boy. Not to say it couldn't be female. I mean, it c clearly is, but. Yeah, I, I just interpreted this wrong the whole time. So sorry about that. Sorry, ma'am. The operator intoned. Yeah, no. The, said i'm not letting you get away with this one she's disconnected i fell apart what had just happened interesting i'm sorry ma'am the gentleman at the post office repeated what oh oh new scene i see stars new scene i'm sorry ma'am the gentleman at the post office repeated that's not any kind of address i know what to do with and besides it's like i said we don't even have a rye street a ray street or any such combination you must have got it wrong I turned off my computer and flopped back into bed. Ugh, there goes $100 I don't even have. Who was I kidding anyway? Meet my soulmate? Yeah, right. And now I'd given some crazy rando my address. Gah. Oh, so wait, have we POV shifted here? Like, are we, are we the other chick now? I turned on my computer and flopped back into bed. Ugh, there goes $100 I don't even have. Who was I kidding anyway? Meet my soulmate? Yeah, right. And now I'd given some crazy rando my address. Gah. What was I going to do if she showed up here? Well, I mean, what do you think you're going to do? Why do you give her your address? Getting off the bed, I snatched my jacket from the coat rack by the door and stomped out into the, the fall air. I do think fall is supposed to be capitalized. Let me think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's like a, the proper name of autumn, I guess. I like the word autumn. Anyways, speaking of letters, I was expecting a package anyway, so I might as well stop by my post box. Why, did I, why didn't I give her my P.O. box? That would have been safer. More and more upset at myself, I made my way to the post office and finding the oversized notification in my box waited in line with it. Huh? And th this whole thing's a grammatical mess and I, I don't want to mess with it. When I reached the counter, the older gentleman behind the counter did a double take at my address. This is just wordy. When I reached the counter, the older gentleman behind the counter did a double take at my address before going oh yeah i guess it works before going into the back to get my package he came back pushing a cart with several bundles in it and a box that was obviously wrapped by my mother on top smiling i reached out to take the box as he placed it on the counter but before i could turn away comma quotation mark yeah this is either typographical or there's 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 something wrong here. This this whole there you can't do whatever this is with the dialogue because it's not dialogue, you know. But before I could turn away, excuse me, miss. Yeah. You don't happen to know who lived at your place before you, do you? I laughed. Um, my dad had it built, so nobody but us has ever lived there. Oh, he seemed puzzled. Um, this would be period capital. Why do you ask? Well, it's a bit odd, you see, dot, dot, dot. He turned back to the cart and grabbed one of the bundles, comma. But we've got these here letters. Been around, well, as long as I've worked here anyways, I reckon. He thumped the first one onto the counter, and I was about to throw them out, dot, dot, dot. But you see, comma, he pulled a letter from the top of the bundle. It's got your address on it right there. Okay. To the beautiful woman's voice on the radio. Uh, blah, blah, blah. New York spelled wrong. Coopersville, blah, blah, blah. There was no way. My lungs were suddenly finding it hard to draw from the air. And I wasn't sure I wanted to take that letter, but he was offering it to me. So I opened it and read. We may have only had 15 minutes to talk. Well, 
less than that I reckon dot dot dot. Oh, I guess it like goes on, but you didn't write it. Well, this reads like, ugh, no offense, this reads like a really shitty writing prompt. This reads like someone like gave you a writing prompt that was like, write a, write a, a 15 minute fiction about time travel. Um, this is clearly not worthy of publication of any variety. I think that the characters, while intriguingly lesbian, are, I don't know. They're a little strange. Like, they're, they're dry. Like, there's not... I'm trying to think of, like, what to say about this overall. Like, it isn't... It's not that it's terrible. Like I said, like, it does accomplish some things correctly. But for the most part, I don't really find anything worthy of, like, praise. It seems very generic. I wouldn't say trite, necessarily, but predictable and kind of boring. Um, what it does accomplish correctly is, for the most part grammar notwithstanding it gets pacing correctly so i'm, I'm actually going to write some notes here i'm actually going to pause type this and then unpause so here it'll be magical it'll be like one second for you are we back are we back are we back okay yeah we're back okay so wow magical right isn't that intense so i should really have like a close the curtains like animation screen right like that'd be kind of cool Anyways, so I think what it accomplished, um, again, this 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 read to me as if this was like a Reddit prompt on like one of those like writing prompt Reddits that was then uploaded to DeviantArt. And if that's what this is, that's fine. I'm I'm not upset having now read this. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this is representative of great writing. I don't think that it's something worthy of expanding upon. I think that for just like a fun morning coffee warm up that this is something that like it's definitely it definitely shows some weakness but also some strength so we'll go into it so what it accomplished pacing and flow the story did hold intrigue throughout i did find that the events moved at a good pace um the characters although they seemed hollow and unrepresentative of deeper or stronger archetypes they are survivable as characters with distinct albeit shallow personalities the premise it was intriguing, although somewhat predictable and trite. It seemed like we basically got a fluff of, oh no, we don't have a lot of time, but then there was not enough information within that flow of dialogue between the characters for me to really feel like super engaged or like empathetic towards them. It was like, okay, like they're not going to get to talk, whoop de doo They didn't really seem to matter that much. Like, they, we, we were given the tools to, we were given the words and the tooling as if, they were like falling in love, like my heart was beating. But like there didn't really seem to be much in the way of like actual romantic dialogue. Like I knew it was my soulmate, but like did you though? Because that's not how you talk to a soulmate. Maybe that's just not how I talk to a soulmate. Anyways, I just, I didn't think it was that great. So the premise, it was intriguing, although somewhat predictable and trite. Um, blah, blah, blah. We already read that. So yeah. So when the time traveling twist did come, um, it was, it wasn't that it was not predictable, it was, it was, we, we kind of did see it coming, which means that like the writing set it up properly and it wasn't supposed to like totally hit us over the head with it, like out of nowhere, like, and then a bear jumped through the portal and ate him, you know, it was not complete randomness. Like it, it did have a setup. It just, when it came, it was kind of lackluster. Like it just didn't feel like it mattered at all. It was like, okay, we get it. Like they're using a time travel box, big deal. And I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't feel very engaged with that. So Major issues. Let's move to this. So grammatical dialogue. Jeez, man, this is like, it's bad. It's not good. So there's, 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 there's errors on just about every single line that some of them I just ignored outright just for the sake of brevity and time. But mostly it has to do with um, stylistically, there are too many unnecessary breaks in the flow itself. Secondarily, there are antecedent switches pervasive throughout that need editing grammatically for clarity, e.g. break for the next paragraph line and do not mix speaker and thinker. That's a big one. Do not mix speaker and thinker on the same line because they're, they're two different characters. So yeah, this is, this is a big one. Um, there was too much pausing between the dialogue, as I already mentioned. And there's the other issue of just use the word said, like for attribution, do not use words like blurted, blubbered, interrupted, like creativity in that regard is kind of like using adverbs and uh, that like end in L-Y, like proudly, for example, we had already discussed that. 
as being like a weakness point in the writing um because the writing again should merit its own like tone implicit understanding without the adverb to kind of bog it down um some some minor issues mostly they were typographical uh your versus yours or some weird grammar within the uh like the choices of dialogue and um like there there was a couple that we had noticed i i can't think of any like off off dome but yeah i i think overall like i i definitely appreciate the submission i don't i don't really know what to say about this it's not something that i would give like a grade to but um i think it's very middle of the road writing and i think that especially because it's from 2016 my my best guess is that this author has significantly improved their craft i mean this this is 7 years ago so i hope for the sake of um you know education that you guys really got something out of this and yeah i really appreciate you guys for joining um this has been Alice the Red Cat's editing. And yeah, thanks so much for joining. And we'll be back again another time. Meow. Bye.